Hey guys, welcome to another episode of PB Garage. A few episodes ago, you may have noticed that I was putting my 2.7 engine together. In this episode, it's all back apart, and I've made the decision to take it back apart because a viewer from that previous episode observed that I was using max speeding rods. Uh, max speeding rods are a budget connecting rod option for uh, a lot of uh, engines out there. You know, if you're going for a bit more horsepower than stock, it's not a bad idea to update connecting rods. These are one of the cheaper ones out there. So um, they do come uh, weight matched to within a gram out of the box. That means the total weight of each one uh, is within a gram of, of all the others. Um, however, the, uh, the big ends apparently aren't uh, matched to the set. So that's one thing I wanna check, wanna check in this video. I also have some OEM connecting rods. I have a set of six here from a 2.7 engine. And I'm not too concerned about the weight being the same as the uh, max speeding rods, but I want to check the balance on these six connecting rods to see how they stack up against the max speeding rods. I've built this rudimentary jig to help me do the weighing. The scale that I'm using has a resolution down to a tenth of a gram, so that should give me uh, enough accuracy for what I'm looking for. One thing to consider is the application. So in my case, this is a street engine, a street car. Um, it's going to have intermittent uh, full throttle use. It's not going to be sustained high RPM, uh, very high power. Um, you know, I'm going for a stage three, a very basic stage three build. So my goal is to achieve a balance uh, within half a gram on the big ends. If you're building something a bit more serious, you may want to go down to like plus or minus a tenth of a gram, but I don't think that's warranted in this application. The process I followed is in line with what I found at HP Performance Academy on YouTube. Check out their channel for a more detailed overview of rod balancing. I really don't think there's anything I can say that they already haven't, and their videos are much more professional and detailed than mine. I started by measuring the total weight of each connecting rod, followed by their big end weight. The rods are uniquely identified from the factory. The results show that the total weight is as advertised in the literature supplied with the rods. They are within a range of one gram of each other. In comparison to the Audi OEM connecting rods, the range of the total weight is 1.3 grams. Therefore, I would say the max speeding rods are marginally better in this respect. Moving on to the big end weight, the range of the max speeding rods is two grams. Not really knowing if this is good or bad, a comparison against the Audi OEM rods show a range of 0.5 grams. Therefore, if I targeted the 0.5 gram range for the max speeding rods, I know that I will at least be not any worse than OEM. At this point, it is certainly worth noting that the big end weight of the max speeding rods is about 43 grams lighter than the Audi OEM connecting rods, meaning a full rotating assembly balance check at a machine shop is highly recommended to adjust the crankshaft counterweights. There is a lot to talk about on this subject, particularly the difference between inline and V configuration engines. However, I find that it is already sufficiently documented online, so I won't get into that in this video. But I do wanna highlight that after discovering this weight difference in the big ends of the connecting rods, that I decided to have the full rotating assembly balanced at a machine shop prior to putting this engine back together for the second time. This will ensure a smooth running engine with a long service life. To correct the big end weight imbalance of the max speeding connecting rods, I identified that three of them were very close in weight, whereas the other three were about one to two grams heavier. My approach was to reduce the heavier rods to match the lighter ones. I did this using my bench grinder in the garage, being careful to remove an equal amount of weight from the four corners of the connecting rod at big end. This was an iterative process until the targeted weight was achieved. So with that process undertaken, I was happy to see that the big ends are now within about 0.2 grams. Uh, these green cells here highlight the new big end weights of the modified connecting rods. These blue cells highlight the new total weight of the modified connecting rods. At this stage, the total connecting rod weights are now imbalanced due to the material removal from the big ends of the heavier connecting rods. Therefore, to correct this, weight must be removed from the small ends of the connecting rods. My target for total weight balance was about half a gram. Again, this is dependent on how much time you want to invest in your build 
and the performance expectations from your engine. I was able to achieve a total weight balance of 0.2 grams, which is significantly better than the original max speeding specification and even the Audi OEM connecting rods. A check of the small end weights of the max speeding rods at this stage show a range of 2.1 grams compared to the Audi OEM rods of 2.6 grams. And to be completely honest, I'm not sure how to balance these without affecting the other variables of the connecting rod. So I was happy that the results were better than the Audi OEM specifications and I left things like that. Finally, moving on to checking the pistons, rings, clips, and wrist pins to ensure their total weights were close to equivalent. The piston rings, clips, and wrist pins were all almost exactly the same. There were three pistons that were heavier than the other three, and one of those in particular that was about half a gram heavier. I found it difficult to find areas to remove weight from the pistons, so I reduced the weight of the single heaviest piston so that it matched the other two heavier ones. This resulted in three pistons that were about 300 grams and three that were about 300.5 grams. Now I'll match these three heavier pistons with the connecting rods that have the lighter small end weights. So with the rods now balanced to my satisfaction and the reciprocating components weight matched as close as I could achieve, I brought everything to the machine shop for crankshaft balancing and journal polishing. Again, the process for this is highly documented online already, so I won't go into these details. Uh, with these details finally sorted out, I'll assemble the engine and continue with my build. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. If you have any specific questions or comments, please leave those below. I have several new videos in progress right now, and the next one involves subframes and 6061 T6 aluminum, so stay tuned.